Hey everyone, Soundwave8084 here, the Transformers review, and we'll take a look at the Walmart exclusive Headmasters. Now these are four Headmasters have been reissued. It's a it's a mix between G1 and Titans Returns. We're getting a G1 style box, but the Titans Return figures, but they are different than what Hasbro and Takara originally released. They're slightly changed up. You can find these at Walmart for around twenty dollars. So they're not that expensive, not going to break the bank. That's pretty much the cost of a current deluxe figure. And you get you get it in a good G1 style packaging. You even got the 87 kind of st style going on with the background and everything. Uh, so we have Headmaster Chrome Dome. Picture here of the Headmaster Autobot Stylor. And then got the package art. You can see the figure inside. Uh, old style Hasbro logo here in the front. Transformers logos all around. That's nice to the side. And they put, of course, they put the new figure here on the side of the box. Took away the G1. Turn back and you get the G1 style artwork. And you can get a G1 style uh, little uh, tech spec down here on the bottom, which, which is pretty cool. You don't get as much in the way of you know, the rankings, but it's still cool to have something like this. And of course, you get a lot of this mumbo jumbo stuff here on the side. And you get your words here. It's a world of constant change where things are not what they seem. It is the world of the Transformers, a world of heroic Autobots and evil Decepticons. And turn this side, same thing it was on the side. Top, of course, you get the change stuff. Bottom has a picture of Chrome Dome and some more mumbo jumbo over here and your barcode. Uh, they did change things up from the G1 box. Uh, the artwork is different. I'm going to check my legacy book out and I'm going to show you the comparison of the artwork here. Before I show you this comparison of artwork, let's show you the back part here. Now they did change this up. What they did do is they lighten the back picture. It's not as dark or deep. Uh, so some of the colors may seem off when you look at it. Also, they did change the heads, I noticed, on Chrome Dome. Brainstorm, I can't tell about Hardhead because he's so far away. And uh, I don't mind what, but he's pretty much about the same. Uh, but here on Chrome Dome from the original, it's this is the head of this art. Brainstorm has the face, not the face plate. And Chrome Dome, I mean, Hardhead, I'm probably just screwed up all their names, but uh, <laughs> Hardhead is back there. Let's zoom in a little bit closer here. And it's really hard to tell because it's just so small. I think they tried to change it to make it like the uh, face with the mouth instead of the face plate. But they changed this to look like this. And it is different than the original box art. So let's go take a look at my legacy book. Yeah, let me compare with my legacy book to make sure that art is the same. Uh, The artwork is pretty much the same. It's just on the new reissue box, they've lightened up the artwork somewhat. And this changed the head sculpt ever so slightly to actually mimic the toy inside. Alright, so I'm going to slice this bad boy open. I've never opened it. It is still sealed in the package. I just picked it up from Walmart today. So I'm going to cut it. I'm gonna cut them out. And we're going to compare him as well with the original Titans Return versions. I don't have the Takara versions. I just got the Hasbro versions here. So we'll do that. We'll take a look at the figure. All right, with him out of the box, uh, he got instructions, and I'm back out just a little so you can see it better. Uh, it is tr they tried to do the G1, mimic the G1 booklet. Now you get the booklet here, and you have the picture with the little grid and stuff in the back, and then you know you unfold it. The transformer has your steps. You know, one, two, three. Uh, a little more uh, simplistic pictures, which I really like, and it throws back to nostalgia here. Uh, I just, you know, at least they tried. Uh, they kind of failed, I think, because it's done so wide. I don't know why they couldn't try to figure out to do it like the actual booklets back then. It shouldn't took that much more work. But honestly, the picture here of him running just cracks me up. It just it just looks funny, so it makes me want to laugh. So they did try to mimic a G1 style uh, instruction manual. So that that's a nice little throwback. They didn't have to do, but I was wondering if they did it, and they did. They even have the old school uh, Hasbro logo there. All right, so he comes packaged in vehicle mode. So that's the way we're going to start this review out. He's in his vehicle mode, and there are a lot of changes between this and the Titans Returns. 
Um, probably not so much between this and the Car Legends. I think they changed uh, uh, this a little bit. I think this closer uh, resembles more closely the uh, Takara Legends versions than it does. Or I think it's Unite Warriors. I think what they're called. Then I'm not. I'm not positive. So many different names. I can't really recall. But I think it, it mimics that one a little more closely than it does the American version. But very cool to have a, in a different style, maybe more G1. And also, it's trying to hit more of the uh, actual Japanese Headmasters cartoon look. Definitely not the U.S. Uh, Chrome Dome look. Uh, that is the new version of the re-release from Walmart. This is your original Titans Returns version. I can see the brown here is more of a deep brown, where it's kind of like a goldish brown. So you got the red here in the roof. No red here. Uh, the lights, these are more of a, like a, a light blue, a grayish, smoky blue. And these are like a bright, deep blue. Uh, the little silver wings and red wings here on the front are totally different. These are a lot shorter and more sharp. These are just, just more of an angle here. The red you get here is a deeper red. And this is a very bright red. And this is also a very pale beige. And this is more of a tan like a goldish uh, cream color you got some gold here on the uh, hubcaps you still got the translucent wheels so that is, that is still uh, like a carryover and you got this is just more of solid colors this just mimics i think i like the look of this one uh, a little bit better than this they went for a little more i guess updated style change and you look underneath you can see a little bit change to the robot mode you see the legs here are going to be different and stuff in the arms so as some of the changes there in vehicle mode uh, go away around, you know, you get some of the brown carryovers on the new no reissue that wasn't present on the uh, Titans Returns version. Now you get the same kind of weapons you got at Titans Returns. They just kind of recolored these, it's done more in the maroon, where these are like a bright you no know, red right here. But it's exactly the same weapon, and it's just in a different color. And that color is just trying to mimic a little more of this. It's not exactly a perfect match, but it's, it's a nice... You know, deep color, like a deep reddish brown. It goes with these deep kind of colors here. Also, the other guns, exactly the same. Again, they just changed the coloration. The color plastic they used to uh, mold these in. So, we have those. And that's just pretty much your changes there. Uh, another change is Stylor. This is the the reissue one that comes with the Walmart reissue. Uh, hey, they painted the face Thank you. Uh, some of them did get face paints back in the Titan Returns line. Some did. Uh, again, it's the same color of plastic as your guns. Uh, just more of a deep maroon. No, it's more of a maroon. Uh, whereas the Titan Returns version here, very bright red. And you can see here that the face is unpainted. It's exactly the same figure. as uh, just this is a bright red with that brown. This is a maroon with a uh, uh, little creamish tan color right there in the middle he's got a gold face so not bad that pain in the face you no know, works wonders for the toy it makes it look instead of like a little cheap knockoff you'd find at a dollar store you actually have one that's got some effort put into it and while we're looking at these guys we'll go ahead and show you how to transfer well, let's go articulation these guys let's do that real quick uh you know the arms are on ball joints uh, if i actually get a fingernail here <laughs> to make an arm move yeah uh, you got up and down and then you got this uh Pinned in knees here, you can move that. And then you got pinned in waist where you can get that to move around as well. And the head's like on a ball joint so the head can wobble to and fro and spin a 360 all the way around. And then transform it, all you're going to do is just fold the legs up behind the head. And there you go, you have now transformed Chrome Dome's head. And this is, I'll put my hand over here to show you the Transformer Headmaster cartoon. This head here is trying to mimic that and is... No, it goes way more closely. Does not match the U.S. Headmasters, the Rebirths. Nope, no way, no how. And in comparison with the Titans Returns version. Now, this was actually trying to mimic the IDW comics. And that's what that one was going for. Was a more of an IDW comics look. Because that more than meets the eye and all that was going on. The Lost, Lost Light. And all that was going on at this time. And that was what was hot. So, that's what they were trying to mimic. That was the Chrome Dome in media at the moment. And this is hearkening back to uh, the Japanese Transformers Headmasters cartoon. Uh, at comparison, I actually prefer this one. It's just more of a G1 throwback. Uh, I like it a lot. And of course, the Headmaster can sit inside. Uh, not as simple as the old G1s, but this just comes down. Uh, first time untabbing this stuff. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> 
is on the little these are hinges here and you just want to bring it up there's these two tabs that are locked into that so you'd have him in his uh, robot mode and then you would just want to uh, set him down here into the seat get in there boy sure he's in there and you would just want to close this down and or these are two separate pieces are tabbed together so just always you know remember that when you're playing around with it here yeah get into the hole boy there you go now he's hiding inside and of course with the uh little joints here you can um joints uh peg holes you can peg the weapons on oh uh, just ignore me i uh, made it's a little late and this one here has a peg so you can peg it here also these two tabs are up here and you can see that there's these two uh, slots on this and you would just want to peg that on on top not working properly i wouldn't want to force too much um because this is painted and I, you don't want to scratch the paint off this is translucent um, plastic here and it's just painted that color. I don't want to scratch the plastic off because I'm not ever going to do that anyway. All right, so let's transform Chrome Dome into his robot mode. Very simple. We're just going to reopen this uh, canopy here, uh, pull Stellar out. We're just going to transform him. We already shown how to do that. Let's do it real quick. Put it that way. Put it to the side. You'll grab that later. Leave the canopy up. You're going to grab this part here. You want to um, bring this part down. This part up like so. Then you're going to come to the arms, bring those out. You turn to the back. You want to bring these down onto the back of the car. You're going to open the legs up, fold this down, split it all apart. Try to anyway. Well, these tabs are holding. There we go. And you're going to close. Uh, pull the foot down and you want to close this up and there's these little tabs that are going to hook onto that let's bring the foot down close this up like so so the legs are done and you're going to move up let's move the camera up head down because he's in vehicle mode you're going to spin the body 180 around bring this down you see these two little tabs up here they're going to go right into these slots down here so bring this down on this hinge tab that in bring the arms up on the shoulder joint shoulder hinge come down here grab the hands bring those out soft ratchets bring here, down here take the backpack to angle this down like this bring it down and close it then it's just a matter of taking the head the little head here on the headmaster or tight master is going to go right into there so we just want to tab that sometimes i find this to be kind of hard because the ball jointed head on the headmaster just keeps wiggling <laughs> and moving the whole time you're trying to get the head in there okay i think i got it it made a snap there we go and there's chrome dome in his robot mode and then you can take his guns i'm just going to use the one here uh, he's going to carry this gun. Wow. Maybe. Oh my word, that is a snug fit. There we go. That's a snug fit for that gun. You can get his gun in there, and he can hold this gun as well. You can peg it in his hand like this. It can go up here onto his shoulder. Or you can just put it to the side. Because I'm not going to use that gun. I never liked the guns with the seats in it for the uh, Headmasters, type Masters. This wasn't my bag. It wasn't my scene. And he's molded in an A stance here. Now, there's no ankle uh, articulation on these guys. So these are toys from years ago. Like three years ago. Four years ago. There's no articulation on these guys. Uh, so they're just molded in this A stance. Go over the articulation real quick. You got uh, ball jointed hips. So you can get up to there. Back up to there. Just hits the back. Uh, you can go out to the side. Full splits. Uh, he's got a sad, side, sad hip. On his hip, uh, you got thigh swivels up there, knee bends. Uh, you end up hitting his backpack. Yeah, that's what you get in there. 360 waist swivel, uh, head. What little ball joint you got? You got 360 it around as well. You got shoulders to there. You can 360 those around. 
elbow is bent to there no wrist swivels it's uh, pinned through or actually i think it's just snapped in not a pin and you got uh bicep swivels here as well so it's got some decent articulation uh, i always like the tighten the turns that's probably out of the prime wars trilogy i think the time to turns uh line was my favorite between the combiner wars times returns and the was it prime wars what do they call the last power of the primes so i always compare this one with the titans returns version all right so in robot mode comparison it's exactly the same toy it's just done in different colors and it, all they really knew about it is the head sculpt the overall head has been redesigned, just the face part for the robot. The actual robot part of the Titan Master or Headmaster Silor is exactly the same, just painted different. So really, you're getting a G1 style box throwback, and you're getting uh, a new face front for the robot, and of course new paint and plastic colorations. It's still a nice looking figure. Uh, if you want something that's more G1 accurate, these reissues are going to nail that a little bit more so. Then the past Titans Returns, that's going for the more, you know, stylized IDW head look. Both are fine chrome domes. I have no no problem with either one. But I really like this one just for the head sculpt. I think that head just fits a little better. I would like to see a head done in the rebirth style in the US cartoon. Because that head is just a really poor head sculpt. Uh, it almost looks like a duck face. But I would like to see one done in that style. Just to see what it would look like on this figure now you can see the differences in the colors here the uh chest the design the paint so the red and the silvers are a lot different here of course you got the bright reds against the maroons down here you got the dark browns with the silver here this is the light beige with the silver and some blue right there he's got brown feet to his little cream feet and the silver here no silver so you can just see the color differences as you look at the figure and what will actually you know stand out as you have them posed on the shelf now on the transformation i forgot to show that these things here the canopy tabs in down here to the bottom of the leg sorry did not show that but it's there and you might catch it when you're transforming it anyway and yes the gun supports blast effects at least the one i have here on it and that goes the same for the old time to terms uh, gun it's the same gun both can support blast effects but in my book this new reissue wins out over the past time to terms version so he's going to kill him all right so final thoughts is it sad to say that i mainly bought these guys just because i want the box that's why i really want this that box scratches a nostalgia itch that i have i, I I love, I have a thing for the past boxes, you know, the G1 boxes, the G1 box art. Even though the box art is slightly different, it's still, just glancing at it, just throws me back to a simpler time and place, and just being a kid again, and that's something I I enjoy. I, I miss my childhood, and I guess you can tell that because I have this channel with toys all over it. Uh, but it's a nice figure for 20 bucks, cost of a regular deluxe. I mean, if you missed out the first time... Pick these guys up if you see them. Now, with them being Walmart exclusives, they could be hard to find. Some exclusives at Walmart are hard to find. Now, the Netflix figures are Walmart exclusives, and they usually kind of pile on the shelves and hang around. The Red Series is Walmart exclusives, and around my area, I barely saw those guys. I only saw them at two different Walmarts, and only one of the Walmarts actually restocked it. Now, I didn't check all the other 10 Walmarts because I don't feel like driving around for hours. But I'm just saying, some Walmart exclusives are very much are they very plentiful Are there anything like the past g1 reissues of actual g1 like uh, astro train blaster they're gonna hang around and could possibly get clearance out for a dollar <laughs> it's a nice figure like i said missed it out pick them up if you have the titans turns get it if you have the transformer uh, legends or the takara version it, I, it's slightly changed very little uh, so that's really up to you if you want to uh, change that figure out and i said thanks for watching until the next one, peace out.